Hey everybody, this is my first packing video, so bear with me, but I was really excited about the new Dr. BFF by Jujubee. Technically, this is a diaper bag, but I pack it as a camera bag. I've been on the hunt for the perfect camera bag now for years. I've tried everything. When the Dr. BFF came out, I was super excited because it seemed like it was gonna be perfect. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty perfect. I'm so surprised at how much I can fit in this bag at this small size, considering I have a lot of gear. What I love about it is all the pockets. So the front pocket, nice and big, easy to store like little flat things. You got a nice big pocket here that's got a zipper pouch and it's got uh, mesh pouches and even a leash. It's actually like opens really wide too, so it's really easy for that. It has two bottle pockets that are very deep and very spacious, one on each side. One thing I love about the Dr. BFF is that it opens like a doctor bag, which is why it got its name. So when you zip it, it has these like metal framing. And so when you open it, it opens up and so you can look inside. And when you see inside, it even has more pockets and good stuff. So there's one big pocket in the front two pockets on the side, two smaller pockets here. It came with stroller straps. I probably won't use these for a stroller, but they'd be really handy like on a cart or a wagon or something maybe that I wanted to carry my camera bag with otherwise or attach it to something. It has another big zipper compartment that you can store everything in. In the front, it has a little like pouch. You can keep little things in there. And then around the back, you'll see the thing that I love the most about this bag is the versatility. So this bag, I have all the straps attached right now, but you can carry it as a messenger. If you're just going from like place to place, you can kind of see it here. It has handles, so you can just grab it real quick on the go. And it is and has these backpack straps that you can disconnect or connect to carry it as a backpack if you're walking around with it for a long time and you don't wanna have it on your shoulder, you have that option. So you can literally carry this bag any way you wanna carry it. It also has a really big opening in the back, which is also a pocket. Fits like a laptop, iPad, whatever in there. And then there's like kind of a mystery thing here. You can slide your hand away through. This will actually go over like a rolling cart. So if you have maybe one of those big gear suitcase bags or you're taking this bag on a trip and you wanted to just roll it with your rolling cart, you have that to connect it to a rolling bag. So it really has like everything you need to travel with all your gear. What makes it even more awesome is that I have yet to find a bag this small that fits two camera bodies, three lenses, a flash, my flash trigger, my adapter for my camera, some of my flash components, batteries, the whole nine yards, it all fits into this little tiny package. And I'm gonna show you how I do that with this Dr. Bia book. I found this online, it's just a really simple, camera insert. I will post the link to Amazon in the comments. It's very simple. It's about 13 inches long and it fits perfectly inside the Dr. BFF. So I just shove it right inside. This. The great thing is, is it's kind of thin so you still have access to the side pockets and you could even use a little bit of the side the two side pockets too. Um, probably not much, but like something flat would easily fit in there. I haven't even like fully packed this bag full, full yet. So with it wide open, now I can fit my lenses inside. I have a 70 to 300 millimeter lens. It would easily fit a 70 to 200 as well. It's got, as you can see, it's super deep, has plenty of space for the longer lenses. I have my 16 to 35 one four Canon lens. Put that one right in the middle. I have my Canon 430EX 3RT and it has my MagMod attachment stuck to it. And I put that in the one corner. And you could even fit different lenses depending on what your kit looks like to fit more in there. Then I can take my 5D Mark IV with the battery, or with the lens removed. And it actually fits right in this front side pocket, which is crazy. So I just slide that right in there. And then next to that, I have the MagMod actual 
like attachment. It's kind of like a thingy that diffuses light. It's nice and squishy. So I just squish it up right next to my Mark IV. You can see how that's packed. Then because this bag is so tall, I actually just fold these flaps down on this insert and my little new R6 with its 35-1.8 lens just sits right on top. And you can see I'd still have room to fit another small lens or other little attachments or pieces. I could easily go on either side of here, no problem. And the bag will still zip nice and tight. In the sides, I use the bottle pockets for my adapters. So I have the trigger for my flash, which is a speed light transmitter. I put that in one pocket and because it's got a tight case, I don't worry too much, but the bottle pockets are also insulated. So they do add a, offer a little bit of padding. I also have the adapter for my mirrorless camera that fits right in the side as well. I have my mini tripod really handy for various things when I'm out and about fits right in that pocket as well. Then I can use this big old front bag. I actually have memory cards in here. I need to get a little memory card wallet, but I have that put in here. I have space for all three of my batteries, if not more. You can see they fit right in this pocket. My battery charger, I need to charge my batteries, fits right in here. This is a fun little mini uh, bounce reflector that I got. That fits great right here in this little pocket. And then I use the Peak Design straps for both my cameras. Again, I can put links to everything that I'm packing in here. That just slides right in front when it's not on my cameras. And you can see that the bag still zips really nicely. And it's not too tight. It's not stuffed in there. It's got a lot of room. It is packed and it's heavy, but it's all in there and not and very snuggly. In the back, you can see that I also have a 12 inch MacBook. It fits really nicely. You might even be able to fit a little bit bigger, maybe an Air, I haven't tried. Uh, an iPad would also fit great in there. So that shows just a little bit of what I fit in my Dr. BFF by Jujubee. Again, I have been looking for the perfect camera bag and with this insert, this is exactly what I've been looking for. It has the versatility of the backpack straps, the messenger strap, the quick grab handles. In this front pocket, I actually even snuck my Osmo pocket for taking some videos on the, on the road. So you can see that it fits a ton for its small size. It's not too heavy considering all the gear that's in there but having the ability to put on your back really makes a big difference. This one currently comes in the black embossed. It also comes in a blue and a silver. The embossed line has this little details you can kind of see here. Um, this one's the basket weave, so it's just these little lines. Um, I know they're coming out with other types and patterns coming forward. My hope is for a Tokidoki one. But in the meantime, I love the, the black with the black hardware and all of the parts are just really well put together. It's really nice. This beautiful silver lining is very, very soft. So it's really well made. It really fits everything nice with an insert. It's definitely the perfect camera bag when you need to carry a lot of gear but don't want to carry a huge old bag. I highly recommend it. I will definitely put a link in the notes for you for the things that I packed as well as the bag that itself. I hope you enjoyed my very first packing video featuring the B Emboss Dr. BFF and all of my fun camera, camera gear from Canon and others. Thanks so much for watching.